Sup guys, it's Ten Course, and today we're talking about Idol Berserker again, and this time we're talking about the creatures. The feature that was recently implemented into the game, so let's go and take a look how it works. So basically, the creatures are another summon mechanic, you don't earn them any other way, so you need to get the summon, and the ch summon chance are different as always, like... Uh, there is no progression though, so you have to keep summoning and the highest rarity one is 0.1%. Uh, the summon costs 12.12k uh, basically resources. So let's try to summon a little bit more. We saved up some diamonds and let's use those here. We got the unique one, SR1 already, which is pretty cool. Uh, let's see what we will get in 10 of those summons. You can also use those specific tickets. In order to do the summon that can be rewarded from different game modes. And uh, yeah, it takes time. But over time, you will be able to get something cool. When you get a new one, it's, you know, it's bright and beautiful. But if it's not, it's just, you know, they, they appear on the screen. So, we spent all our resources. And now, let's go to the actual creature interface. So, creatures have element as well, just as, as the world stones. And you have two... Uh, slots for the creatures, one for, you know, the land one, another for the flying one, and you have to equip both of those. Each creature have its own skills as well, so, uh, when equipped, increase health by 3%, when casting Celestial Dragon, have 1% to reset the cooldown of Celestial Energy, and such, so, um, you gotta pick the creatures that actually match your skill set, guys. You can also evolution, get, use evolution mechanics, so let's use this one, and when we evolve them, they will get higher attack, health, and nature damage stats. Here you can see the list of uh, available evolutions, how it works for different rarities of the creatures. So, yeah, it's pretty complicated and expensive, so let's evolve this one and see how it goes. Bam, power increased. Our stats are better now, let's do it again. Bam, unique plus two, very good, very good. You can also press evolve all, um, so that will kinda give you some random evolution that you can use later on for your evolvement of your higher tier creatures. So let's do that and make those guys stronger. That increases their stats quite a lot and those stats will apply to you, so that's actually pretty dope investment. But uh, you really need to know that you are evolving the right creatures, the creatures that you want, not the random ones. Otherwise, you might waste a lot of resources like that. So yeah, guys, when the creatures are equipped, they will use their partner skills that will kind of make your stuff better. But when you put them in the equip slot, they will just give you those um, flat bonuses, basically, uh, that are here, like attack health, nature, damage, that kind of stuff. But overall, those bonuses are pretty cool. Moreover, uh, we have the dungeon for the creatures now. Dungeon Defeated Forest. Here you gotta deal as much damage as possible to the boss, and the boss constantly changes elements. You can obtain creature food depending on the cumulative damage. So that will allow you to get more food. So let's go and try to fight it and see how it will go, how much damage we will do with our build right here. And... Uh, yeah, it actually transforms its stats as you go, so it changes while you are doing damage to it. And uh, look at that, you have cumulative element damage, so it's different from different elements. That's just for your info though, so you need to do the maximum damage and only highest damage counts, so just, just do what you can to out damage that thing. <laughs> and you have the same amount of time, that's normal boss fight, and uh, yeah. After the fight, let's let's wait, it's as always going through, after the fight you will get the free rewards, which is nice. And yes guys, uh, elemental creature food is proportionally based on the elemental damage dealt, so if you want to feed the creatures of, for example, inferno element, you want to get inferno damage out there, so it's really complicated right now, you gotta equip the proper skills, you, oh my god, that would be really hard, but overall I like that it makes the game even more complex so there are more and more builds available right now so let's compare the damage that we did beforehand with the new one and see how it goes actually our guys are doing pretty good damage i was expecting to get way lower damage but i think because i've just got the creatures right now my damage is way higher than before so it's boosted i think that's the case so yeah it's almost down there we go 
And uh, nice, we got so much food right here. Let's leave it and feed our creatures to level them up. So, in order to level up the creatures of the different uh, faction, different element, you need different food. There are three types here. Uh, so, it's water, fire, and uh, uh, nature, as always. And we got three different creatures. And by leveling them up, we level their bonus stats as well, which is really good. Let's equip this flying one instead of that one. That one will be better, because first of all, then we will have the fire bug equipped. Moreover, we can uh, level it up more, and we can evolve it a little bit more, I think. There we go, yes. That actually helped a lot. That gave our creature way much power, way more power. Look at that. So it's more powerful right now. It's actually giving quite a good buff now. And its stats are more working for us since we got a lot of Inferno spells. So now you have to match your spells, skill set, spell stones, walls, spells, all that stuff with the creatures that you get. And that can be quite hard. So depending on how do you want to go, I advise you guys to have three creatures of different elements that will allow you to upgrade them all simultaneously and get most of those attack, health and other uh damage bonuses over there but if you want to focus on specific element for example inferno you can get three inferno pets and that will allow you to get like bonus inferno damage really really high but you will have hard time upgrading them so it's up to you where to go for other than that the actual boss damage right now is way better so take a look at that we're fighting the bosses now after we've got the pets and that gives us quite an edge over the enemy so significant damage i would say maybe like 30 percent more capabilities right now let's see so let's wait and look through this fight how it will go yeah it's definitely way better than it was before last time we barely made it to the boss uh, to the time and now we have like half of the health left of the time left i'm sorry that's really good like those creatures help a lot guys so yeah guys let me know in the comments what do you think about this video and the creatures in idle berserker if you have your own tips to share with other players share them there right about now that will help the community and don't forget to give a like to this video while you're going down there and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet we are almost at 1k sub then only you can help me to get there and i appreciate you guys for being here quite a lot check out the pinned comment in the video description for more links on idle berserker guides and that kind of stuff and uh, join the Discord if you want to. Nice place to be. Also, I have the link tree down there with other YouTube channels that I have and the other uh, social media links. So you might find some things for there as well. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stand push out. Have a good one. Bye.